you're browsing the web on any device, your device or the browser within will send details to the website under something known as the user agent. Now the user agent often contains details such as maybe the browser that you're using, the operating system, and maybe even the device that you're using. Now there's multiple reasons why you may want to change this information. It may be from a security point of view, it may be from the fact that you wish to load a mobile version of a website, or it may be something else entirely. Either way, the user agent switcher and manager Chrome extension allows you to change or spoof your user agent information. This means that you can practically say whatever device that you're on, regardless of the current device that you're actually on. So let's have a look at the extension tool. First of all, after installation, it will show inside the top of your Chrome browser, as we see here. And inside, you'll see some simple options to begin with. So the first option that we see is that we can select predefined configurations. So we can select maybe Chrome using Windows 7 as an example, and this comes up in the box down here. We can select Chrome using Windows 8.1. We can either mix and match these selections. So for example, we just want to find maybe an Opera browser. We then want to make sure that it's running on Mac. So we can then go ahead and select this configuration. Now we can then go ahead and click to apply this to all windows as well. This then means that this has set up the configuration and we can set this quite easily by checking for what is my user agent. So at the moment we can go ahead and we can select what we want this configuration to be. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. We're gonna be on Windows and we're gonna select the Opera version here and apply this to all windows. We're then going to go ahead and open a few different examples to see some details of that. Now here we can see this detail has indeed come through and it's set in the information as we've requested it, as we have spoofed it with the user agent. So we can go ahead and change this again. So let's change this to, for example, to IE and we go ahead and apply this as well. If we go ahead and refresh this page, you'll see that again, the user agent information changes. So this is spoofing perfectly across all of the pages. And again, if we look again, we can see it's changing across everything that we want it to. Now, the great thing about this extension, it isn't limited to just that. There's so much customizability of what we can do with it. So if we go ahead and open up the extension again, we can also manually edit anything that we wanted to do here. So we could go ahead here and type in just the text my user agent. When we go ahead and refresh this, you'll see this comes through as well. So not only can we select predefined um, configurations of the Internet Explorer or the browser in general, as well as Windows or the operating system, we can also directly edit the text as well. So the possibilities here are limitless to what our configuration can be. But again, it doesn't just stop there in the way of features. There's other things that we can look to do as well. If we go to the options tag, we can see lots of different options. So one of these options available is to actually blacklist websites. Now what blacklisting allows you to do is it allows you to set a website you do not want to spoof on. So let's go ahead and set this as whatsmyua.info. Now when we go ahead and go back to whatsmyua.info, this will, when we refresh the page, show our default user agent, whilst the other pages will still show the spoofed address as we go through it. As we see here with my user agent, the one that we've set, it showed the spoofed address, but this one here is showing our default address. So you have the blacklist option available. So this basically says spoof on every single website apart from the domain name that we specified here. You also have the whitelist mode available. Now this does the opposite. It basically says only spoof on this domain name, but show everything else as it should be. So if we go here and refresh the page, and we can see this is indeed being spoofed, but all of the pages are keeping our default configuration. So that allows us to blacklist and whitelist domain names. But again, the features of this um, extension don't stop there. We then have the additional features of being able to have a custom mode. So one example of this is if we go ahead and set a string like so, where we type the domain name that we wanted to apply to inside the quotation marks, and then the colon, and then the brackets. Now what this is gonna do is it's basically gonna say, when we visit this website, we want the um, user agent to be this value here. So we go ahead and save this, and I'll refresh of this page. You'll see that is indeed this value here. But then we can add it as a kind of array of values if we want to. So we can go ahead and go further, and we can say let's also make it this value here as well as a possibility. So we go ahead and save this, 
and on refreshing this page, we can see that it changes between the two. So that's then basically saying, this means when we visit this particular domain name, we want it to switch between these two. But again, we can go a step further. And what we can go ahead and do is add another rule. The asterisk basically applies to every single website. We're essentially saying we want this to apply for every other website. So if we go ahead and grab a unique configuration, as we see here, we want to say that if we're on whatsmyua.info, it's going to show these as a, an array of different user agents. If we're on any other website, it's going to show this setup. So if we go ahead and we refresh this, we'll see the difference. So on whatsmyua.info, we see that. But then on the other website, we see this. And we can go a step further. We can keep building upon this over and over and over again. So for example, on another website here, we can go ahead and say, on this website, we want it to say user agent three. When we go ahead and remove the HTTP, and we refresh the page, and that becomes user option three. Yet this keeps our other option that we say applies to all other websites, and this has the array on it. So the functionality behind this extension really is limitless in how you want to set up your user agent across any website on the web and across different variables and arrays based on that.